New intel points to the mounting threat of Russian cyber attacks targeting U.S. critical infrastructure. Just yesterday, a warning from President Biden. He believes cyber warfare is coming. He's telling companies to double up on their defenses. All new at 4, Way 31's Matt Kroschel spoke with a retired Army Deputy Commanding General about the cyber threat. I'm at Jim Pillsbury, managed logistics at Army Material Command over at Redstone. He knows the threat well. Nikhil, while the U.S. and other Western countries continue to support Ukraine in their defense against Russian forces, it's our own cyber systems that Pillsbury says could pose a major threat here at home. In the decades leading U.S. Army operations and logistics, Pillsbury involved in day-to-days that keep uh, U.S. forces equipped around the world. And even as President Biden warns of cyber attacks from Russia, Pillsbury believes we are already at war on the cyber front, not just with Russia. On the cyber side, I think we've been at war with Russia for years uh, and China and North Korea you know, in the cyber world. I think it's easy to say that we're at, at, in World War III when it comes to cyber. And, and um, you know, companies uh, in Huntsville, companies throughout America, companies throughout the West, are paying large sums of money and, and taking extraordinary measures to secure their data and secure their capability to communicate. Pillsbury says as Russia continues to see their war in Ukraine not going the way they planned, they're becoming more desperate and that could lead them to more desperate actions. In the next hour, we continue our conversation with Pillsbury and his assessment of this war and the role companies and DOD members right here in North Alabama continue to play in getting important weapon systems and logistical support to Ukraine's forces. For now, I'm Matt Kroschel, Way 31 News. Matt, thanks. So the White House released a fact sheet detailing ways U.S. companies can defend themselves against cyber attacks. That includes mandating the use of multi-factor authentication and encrypting data.